Hello and welcome back. In this particular session, we are going to learn how to use logical formula for conditional formatting. Now, let's say the teacher wants to highlight names of those students who have received at least three or more A or A plus out of the four subjects. So in this particular case, we need to evaluate the range which has grades and highlight the range which has names. So there are two ranges involved in this. As the rule says, in order to start conditional formatting, we have to select the range which we want to highlight. So we have chosen the name range. We will click on conditional formatting, go to new rule. And this time we are going to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. We are going to use the formula here count if. So we are going to count in this particular range if there are instances of three or more of A. Let's write that formula equal to count if open bracket and the range which is going to be we have to specify the first range which is C4 to F4. So the range is C4 colon F4 and comma in count if formula we have to specify the range and then specify what needs to be compared. So we want to compare A star. If you remember in count if you can have wildcard usage like star. So we are using A star that means it has to check either A or A plus and we close this and if this count is greater than or equal to 3, if this condition is true then we want to highlight the cells with let's say we will fill with orange color and we are going to click and there you go we have those students who have received three or more a's or a plus their names are highlighted so this is how you can write logical formula inside conditional formatting when you use the option of using the formula so let's go over this once again in this particular case we had two ranges one was the conditional formatting range that is the student names and the second was the grades range which needed to be compared so what was the first test that Excel needed to perform? That is what you have to write in the logical formula. So the first test the Excel needed to perform was for the first conditional formatting cell, which was for B4. And the test to be performed was for this particular range, C4 to F4. And that's exactly what we write in the formula. So let's open our formula and have a look at it once again. I'm going to select this worksheet and this is the range which is the name range B4 to B28 and the formula here is when you bring your cursor over here you will be able to see the formula which is count if C4 to F4 which is equal to A or A plus. So this is how you write the formula. While writing the formula you will write the first test which needs to be performed for your range. Let's do this once again. What we will do is we'll write a new rule. Let me come out of this and we will select the range, the name range to highlight. And this time we are going to highlight the names of students who have at least one C in their grade sheet. So let's click on conditional formatting, new rule. We will click on use a formula and the rule is going to be if you want to find out if there is at least one C out of the four cells then we will use or function so we begin the formula with equal to sign we will write or open bracket first is if c4 is equal to c then the next will be if d4 is we cannot use this particular method of clicking the cell and selecting because when you do that, if you see, it selects the absolute cell. And when the absolute cell gets selected for all the cells, the formula will compare only the first row. So we should write manually. So I'm going to erase this and write C4 equal to C comma F4 equal to C. And we close. So this is the OR condition. We are checking whether C4, D4, E4 or F4, at least one of them is equal to C. And we format that blue color and click OK. 
So there you go, those students who have received at least one C are highlighted in blue. So we have seen how different kinds of formula can be applied on text. You can virtually try anything or any logic that you want to apply and see how it works for you.